Yo gamers, welcome back to Swarm. My name is Mikey Dubs and today we're trying to unlock Riven. I've been grinding hard mode so much and I have yet to unlock Riven. I have to beat Rek'Sai on hard mode on this map. And I've tried a whole bunch of different characters and a whole bunch of different strategies. Even Duo have been able to beat it. So I figure, you know what? Let's 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 bring the people through the through the the agony in the feet. But you know what? Maybe this will be the run. Why not us? Why not now? There's only one time to find out, and it's when you're doing it. Let's do it. So I picked up a whole bunch of upgrades. I've got extra projectiles and all that other stuff. Um, pick up radius, experience boosts, all that, all that good stuff. So hopefully it'll be enough. What I do not have yet is my final passive stat spot. So that's like a pretty big upgrade that I'm, I'm still waiting to get. And plus I want to get all my other like basic stat boosts, like damage and armor and movement speed, all that stuff upgraded as well. I think if we're being realistic with ourselves, ability haste makes a lot of sense here. One of the most important stats, I would say. Because now I can I can blast them at a much more consistent rate. I want my blast to be up as much as possible. The hardest part about playing Jinx, I think, is the Colosseum when it drops on you. Like other characters like Yasuo or Leona or Seraphine, they all have like shields that can like they can somewhat tank it. Uh, Jinx, not really, honestly. Yumi Quest is spawning on the south side of the map. Who would have guessed it? Let's roll. I want to go... I think it's time to pick up another weapon. Blade of Rain can crit. We're going to take it. Look at that nice magic damage. I definitely want to go up to get that stuff. And you know what? We're going to pack our passive here. Let's use it to go up and get another level. Let's go. Not bad. Make our way, give, make our way, or make ourselves a way out of this mini Coliseum. This one's more just like nice for farming, to be honest with you. They're all so weak. I'm gonna take crit chance here. I want, I want my crits to be happening more often. If enemies can die faster, that's gonna be a lot better for us. We have to. I think we take advantage of this easy farming right here. Honestly, I know the Yumi quest is spawned and all that, but this is just easy, easy farming. I think the Uwu Blast, we gotta put some respect on its name. Just a little bit. A little bit of a waste of my E there, but that's fine. Okay. Not the easiest game of all time. I, I would say that this is definitely a difficult game to beat on hard mode. Alright, Yumi Quest, what is it? Destroy Vasus? Got it. There's, a, there's an enemy right here. I gotta... I'm gonna try to cut out the enemy. While I destroy some bosses. What's that going to mean for us? Just always use my... Always use my ability in that general direction. And then hit the boss with my basic attack. And then blast him with my ability. Don't get hit. Obviously. Okay, we're go I'm going to want to destroy some more bosses here. But I'm running out of time to do it. There we go. Boss down. I should maybe leave that on the ground. So apparently you can only get your evolve uh, weapons from those mini bosses. But I'd rather take the stats now, honestly. But I think the stats now matter a lot. Okay. Let's take a vacuum, get a lot of XP. I, I have a choice between the train and some, and some other things. I'm going to reroll. Not the best reroll of all time. What does the anti-shark mine scale with? If you hit tab, you can actually see damage. Fine, let's do it. I do not want to get collapsed in on here. That's the worst case scenario for me. Destroy some bosses. Mission failed. I ran out of time. That's okay. We had fun while doing it. Alright, so we got some dogs. Definitely want to kill them as soon as possible here. There we go. We can... We can kind of wreck him. Arc Blast Mines. I mean, we could go for, like, a double mine build. I could go Annihilator. Annihilator scales with what? Experience? Mm, I think Ice Blast Armor, actually. It give me a little bit of defense. We call it, we call it a build. We're going to hope that these weapons can get us there. It's a little bit of defense mixed with a little bit of offense here. Crit scalings, ability hastes. 
Okay, we get Coliseum now. We're gonna try to make make ourselves a hole as quickly as possible. We have ourselves a hole, but it's not that big of a hole. I have to try to blast through and we die. That's what the Coliseum does to you. I got made myself a small hole. I wasn't that comfortable going through it. That's the best part about Swarm. You can jump right back in. All right, I wasn't, to be fair, I wasn't that excited about the weapons and stuff we got last time. I think I am going to start with projectile count this time around. What does projectile count give me? Nothing. There's not a single, there's not a single thing that I have that lets me scale with it. Let's take the ability haste. Call me crazy. I'm a, I'm going to build a haste stand. If I had more ability haste, I would have gotten my second rockets off faster there. I probably could have escaped. I probably should have taken that gap and and prayed and take too much damage. Either way, we're still chilling. Jinx in the other game is nice. Jinx were I think we're Jinx does very, very well uh, against other characters is her ability to kill bosses. She can kite out people like Nocturne. Kite out people like that big Krug, you know? Alright, let's go meow meow. We got ability haste and meow meow level two now. So hopefully, you know, with this combination, we should be unstoppable, right? Projectile count. I think the the Gatlin bunny guns. What do they scale with? So the the Gatlin bunny gun scales with. Duration and the psychonic slicers with health regeneration. Let's do our reroll. You know what? Let's take experience. If it's, it's it's early enough experience, I think it's gonna matter. I think it's gonna matter. We do want some juice up experience if we can get it. Yumi Quest is gonna spawn south. Okay. Not that south though. I'm kind of happy with that. Let's do. I think Battle Bunny. These are both good. I'm gonna do the Blade of Rang, cause it, cause movement speed is something that it uh, scales with, and I like taking movement speed in general. All right, we blast them. Give me some blue gems, please. Blue gem me. Oh, it's an easy blast straight on through. That, those extra experience points coming in handy. Oh, I take some damage there. It's not nice. Ability haste or exp? I'm gonna go exp. Let's go a little bit greedy here. I basically get nothing from that level up in combat stats for right now, but over the long term, it will be good. Yeah, I'm in the bottom left corner when boss is about to spawn, getting a Yumi quest. I'm not sure how much I like this scenario. But let's try to just run over some enemies with our yarn here. They're taking a lot of damage, taking a lot of damage. Let's do max health here. Okay, run over enemies. 185. Nice. Okay, not bad. Keep it going this way. There's a boss up there. I see him. I'm running out of time, though. I need, to, I need to crush more enemies. I... Mm. Let's do health regeneration. I think health regeneration is important. If you can't get access to healing, you could be kind of doomed. All right, let's do v Ooh. let's do vacuum drops. I think vacuum drops just makes a whole lot of sense in general. Health regeneration matters. Use my ultimate. The vacuum should be very good, especially with my exp upgrade. Every time that vacuum pops off, we should be getting stuff. I am I'm putting most of my DPS into a boss this time around, though. Maybe this time I'll leave it there. Let's just create more EXP. No, I'm gonna go for it. Ability haste level two. I I need I need something because I've I've been spending too much on EXP and I'm about to hit a Coliseum. So I take Blade of Rang level two. Blast him here. I think I got time for one more rocket. Before Coliseum hits. I'm not too sure though. Okay, 
Okay, vacuum. Thank you. Ecstatic sword makes a lot of sense here. Zap some enemies for me, would you? Ability haste. Thank you. Thing is, if Colosseum spawns, and I'm stuck, and I'm stuck right here where I'm at right now, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna try to blast my way out. The boss is here. Let's make our way up here and hope and pray. And we made ourselves an opening and we ran into the wall anyway. We run it back. Note to self, if you blast a hole in the wall that big and we play it perfectly like that, uh, don't throw it at the last second. Let's do... Let's do a little bit of movement speed here. Let's get a little bit quick with it. Speed. Speed kills. I also like taking the blade orang on this character because my my standard shot can crit as well. Having that targeted range damage is really nice. Just straight lines, super long range against bosses. This is super, super nice. Okay, some gold. I like gold. There we go. More gold, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. I had vacuum last time, too. I really wanted to get vacuum back. Annihilator is funny. It scales with the EXP. Oh, let's go Annihilator. I think it is funny. Boom. It just, like, it does a lot. It can bail me out in a tough situation. And against the Coliseum? I don't know. Okay, I think critical hit chance matters. I can't get critical hit on anything. I can't I can't crit on the Annihilator, but... I think just having that crit chance multiplier is just so, so important. Uh, Yumi Quest spawns. Maybe we should go down there and try it. I would like to get Vacuum if I can. Okay, we are going to go Ability Haste here. Doing it for the lads back home. Doing it for the, the meow meow minigun. Well, that was nice. Let's go. Get these lads down here. Fighting uphill is a little bit easier than fighting downhill. I find most of the time. Because you can actually see who you're shooting at with your rockets. Oh, money... Do we take projectile count or do we take the transit here? I, I took crit chance. If we get damaged, these trains could go crazy. Because trains can crit. Everyone wants to reach the destination within the time. How about we do this? How about we pop that little vacuum action? And we make our way over there. I think the crossbow makes a lot of sense here. Our weapons are filling up. But we're going for high crit damage stuff. Okay, what do I get? Death and Taxes, Bite Sized, or Ebb and Flow? Mm. I kind of want the movement speed and the ability haste, to be honest with you. Let's, let's go for a little bit of Ebb and Flow here. We've seen our crossbow to go the right direction just a couple times here, and we should be fine. This boss is getting absolutely shredded. Just want to point that out there. Get one shot. That's by the way. Okay, crossbow level two. I'm looking for a damage upgrade. If I can get just pure damage. That'd be quite nice. Yes, there's the damage I'm looking for. Boom, asking you shall receive. Some movement speed, crit chance, ability, haste, and damage. This is probably the most aggressive I could possibly be. Do I, do I just keep going for the aggression? I think maybe. If everything dies, then everything dies, you know what I'm saying? Using my abilities, if we got extra ability haste, that should be helpful. Oh yeah, look at that. You never seen these the dog run get wiped out so easily. Okay, start prepping for Coliseum here. Hopefully get a level up. 
I'm trying to see exactly what time the Coliseum spawns. Projectile count makes a lot of sense to me, but... It does only stack with Meow Meow. It only stack with the, the Crossbolt. Let's stick with movement speed for now. So it's 3.30. It has not spawned yet. Coliseum has not spawned yet. Okay, I have my ultimate up if I need it. Okay, we're going to try to bust a hole right here. Okay, we do, and we are out scot-free. Look at that. Learning has occurred. You know what? What if we just... What if we, what if we stuck around for a second? What if we just messed around? Okay, wait. Fight the boss. Fight the boss. Fight the boss. Crossbolt. Fire, fire the right direction, please. Nope. Right here. I know, it's the, I'm, I know I'm asking for a lot, because the, the chances of it actually happening are actually quite low. Oh, ow, ow. This got trampled up pretty good. Annihilator, yes. Drop on these fools. Boom. I basically get what's-her-name's ultimate. Seraphine's ult. Just cleanse the whole board. That's pretty nice. Massive that kills all normal enemies with heavy... And heavily damages leads long cooldown. It's got, it's got that long cooldown. That's true. But I think I think it's pretty worth it. Okay. Let's take some damage here. We have to blast her away. Maybe take a, a full heal. I don't have time to get, grab that. No way. Just keep blasting her way out. Keep blasting her way out. Use our movement speed advantage. Velvet's trial. Maybe not this time. Do we really go first to mine? I think we do. I think a mine could be really funny. It could help us out the close range. Oh, I walked over an enemy. I really thought everyone would be dead there. Well, now we're starting to collect stuff. Now it's starting to get a little bit serious. I honestly don't think that getting annihilator damage is that important. Okay, while these enemies are get, get rinsed, I'm actually going to take this time to go get a full heal. Give me this full heal. Give me this full heal. Don't get hit by Nocturne. Yes. Okay. I healed up a little bit. Give me the EXP. We're completely full now. Okay. Double Nocturnes. Let's go. I'm built to kill bosses. Where are you going, homie? Eat this rocket from afar. Boom. That was nice. This guy's got to be close to dead then. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage, though. No, no, no. Not a single other sword strike can hit. No more sword strikes. No more sword strikes. Oh, Annihilator. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Goodbye, Nocturne. Let's take this anti-shark sea mine. I would like to go get that heal juice if I can. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, thank you, train. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm alive. I'm alive. I take the Annihilator. Level up. Thank you. Oh, my life. No, we died. But that wasn't a bad run. We had, that, that's about as strong as we've been so far. It's not failing. It's training. Okay? That's just this what we're doing here. Maybe I got a little bit too overconfident. I think if if, if the game's going to drop you first and a first level up EXP, I think you take it. At least in my in my head that makes sense because then I get the most every single blue orb that I pick up this game will get exp boost in that. Let's do it. Triple blue orb from that lad, and then boom, give me that gold, that gold. Still not level two though, or level three I should say. Kind of crazy, even with the exp boost. Uh oh, I'm in a little bit of a sticky situation. Let's take Static Sword. I think it is actually going to be the most helpful for this exact situation. There we go. Static Sword is nice. It zaps enemies. I would love to get some ability haste to approx more often. Okay, give me that XP. I'm almost... I'm getting towards my ult. Yep, the ability haste is what we want here. Ability haste works so well for Jinx. It's just... It gets your fish bones off... On such a short cooldown, six seconds. Such an important ability.
It's such it's just so strong for wave clear. Okay, I don't have to go down to the human quest for right away. It still has not spawned. What I would like to do is go towards this these blue orbs. I think honestly we take movement speed. I, I think movement speed is a really important stat. I just don't know if you can win without movement speed. On Jinx. Maybe I bet you can. But I prefer not to. Not even to try. Um uh, damage me. Okay, we officially have damage. I think this human question is gonna spawn soon. I'm gonna head down there. Okay. Go ahead and blast these lads right here. Okay, yeah, soccer ball, soccer ball. I, I'm just gonna blast them. Alright, let's go. Stag Shiv, I need you to help me out here. So I need to get one of these soccer balls to the end. Preferably without dying to the millions of grubs that are spawning all around me. Oh, boss now. Okay. Bounce it to the other side of him. There is no other side of him. Ooh, ooh, don't get trampled. Okay, we're fine, actually. We're still back. Ten seconds. Lionel, Lionel Messi, Lionel Messi has never pulled up with something like this. And I'm gonna die. There's just no way I survived this. I'm getting trampled. Okay, sorry, mission failed. That one's on me. Health pack, thank you. Ooh, vacuum. That's what I was looking for. No level, though. I was too busy playing soccer. Not, not busy enough killing enemies. Great chance. Why not us? Why not now? Okay, not bad. The movement speed definitely coming in clutch right there. Make a hole, take the hole. Make the hole, take the hole. Oh, we're still making it out of that alive. It's not even close. Okay, the dogs are starting to spawn in, and we haven't killed our boss yet. Not the best run so far. But crit chance makes me excited. So let's do the Mega Blast. If we already got crit chance going, why not Mega Blast me? Calcium incoming, and I don't have a lot of HP, nor do I have a lot of damage. Ooh, that anti-tank mine, though. If I get that to spawn in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we've hit the 330 mark. Calcium should spawn in any time now. I want to go find a nice open space. This is about as open as you can get, I think. 338, still no spawn. Blade Arang, obvious choice here. Okay, here we go. Here's our spawn. Let's try to blast a hole right here. No, no hole was blasted, and that's the end of our run. No hole was blasted. We used both of our abilities, and we didn't burst through. Let's go, jump back in. We're going to unlock Ribbon. I mean, is this going to happen? I didn't feel good about that run from basically the very beginning. Let's take Ability Haste. Let's not mess around. Let's get our, let's get Meow Meow scaled up. I, I just want to evolve one gun. Now, I have gotten to the Rek'Sai fight once before. It was on Leona. So I might do I might do some Leona shenanigans. To see if I can unlock Riven. I Leona just doesn't do a lot of damage. I I want to, I wanted to do it with Jinx. That would be the one character I would love to do it with the most. I think she's the hardest character. But I, I think she definitely has like a lot of potential in a team composition if you're trying to do the co-op and stuff. Cause she just she can cut a boss forever. Like actually forever. Her her issue comes with getting trapped if the enemies lay traps that's when jinx starts to get a little bit weaker this brute forcing jinx doesn't work as well i think taking tippers can only help us here might be a hot take might be a hot take but let's take tippers i believe in tippers Bad. I'm to make sure I don't take any damage here. I do though. That 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 health matters. Go slide it through. I'm trying to head south, so I'm trying to make myself a little gap. Ooh, fairies. I don't believe in fairies. Okay. 
Oh yeah, skip the blue, the orbs of the blue. Okay, I call me crazy, call me ludicrous, but the final transit has our back. If I could get a damage upgrade to pair with it, oh come on, Tibbers and transit, Tibbers and transit, should be guaranteed win, right? There's no way we lose this, and we're gonna get we're gonna get ourselves a nice a nice big old vacuum. Pick up radius, not gonna need it because we're gonna get the vacuum. Searing shortbow goes with size, and cyclonic slicer goes with health regen. Fine, if we get health regen, we take it then. Push enemies away with our slicers. Oh, the ball's getting up there. We're gonna have ourselves a successful, successful quest here. Bada bang, bada boom. Let's take ramming runner. The more movement speed we get, the fat, the more damage we deal, and that's a nice one to get on Jinx. Because I'm going fast a lot of the time. Like right here, I can just make sure I have my manual aim on, and then just. Shoot this guy a whole bunch with focus fire. I don't have to be in melee range of him like other characters are. All right, ability is level two. Again, you could make the argument that you don't want to be picking up those single cards, but to me, I think it's, it's worth it. All right, duration, damage, or bl blade of rank for the movement speed package. I'm gonna lock in blade of rank for the movement speed package, and that way I have my stats basically sorted. I have my weapons basically sorted. By basically sorted, I mean pretty much sorted. Now I just need the passive stats to go along with it. Okay, we're at three minutes. We're feeling strong. The dogs have not started to kill us yet. But here they come. It's like dog rounds from old, old school COD zombie days. Okay, we're so we're so back. Oh, that the the blades actually help out a lot there. I think we do take the health regeneration. Lock it in. Duration doesn't help out the trains, I don't think. So it would only be helping out Tibbers, basically, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure it's worth it, just for Tibbers. We're at 335. Our razors are now gone. Trying to blast the whole into this Coliseum might not be the easiest thing in the world to do. Keep my razors on it. Just keep my razors on it. Okay, we blast a hole. Take a nice, easy route out. Let's go. Hit the enemies in front of you. Velvet Trial spawned. You know what? I'm really happy it's spawned. If, I'm, if I play later in my casual time, maybe I'll, I'll farm it some more. As of right now, I'm just trying to survive. I know there's a boss behind me somewhere. All right, this blast who's ever had me with this. We do need more damage. That's that's one thing we definitely need. So we start taking some damage upgrades. Okay, here we go. Here's a boss. Welcome, homie. This is one of the most dangerous bosses, I think. Yeah, I do more damage when I have movement speed. So while I have my passive going, I definitely want to be using as getting as close as I can to that boss over there. So I mean, it worked out. My slicers end up doing a ton of damage. We take, yeah, we take the damage upgrade for the transit. Let's go. And while my passive is going, and I get all the extra movement speed, my slicers will do a ton more damage. Honestly, I think we take crit chance and we, we call it a day. Can these crit? No, they cannot. The, but the train can. Okay. Blast them. My slicers are back. The, the ability hay should bring back my slicers a lot. There we go. There we go. Take some health regen. Over movement speed? Yes, even over movement speed. What? No Coliseum? Where's your Nocturnes at? Here's your Nocturnes. Ooh, don't hit me. Let's take ability haste here. Oh, I got power up. Please give me fire power up. Fire? What do I get? Don't don't get hit. Oh, freezing shockwaves. Freezing shockwaves. I like freezing shockwaves. Keep firing, keep firing. Blast them. That Nocturne goes down. I'm not that close to a weapon upgrade. Let's just go ahead and just do this. 
the old fashioned way. Nice. Okay, we take those stats. Those are some good stats. Okay, we're very combat focused. No EXP, no nothing like that. Everything is very. My only defensive, besides movement speed, is health regen. This is the way. I think I'm just a little bit of health regen goes a long way for me here. I want to destroy this lad right here, right in front of me, but I don't want to slow down to stop to do anything. Oh, yeah, it's a big hit. Let's go. More movement speed, don't mind if I do. More, more movement speed we get, the stronger we will become. Let's take Meow Meow level 4. We are passive to pop. That's good. Yeah, and with our ability haste, our razors will come. The razor blades will come up more often. And that also happens during our ultimate. Let's take uh, some blade array. You know, I do think that the slicers do matter a lot here. Pushing enemies back is probably one of the most important uh, stats on Jinx in general. Okay, ability haste rank 5. We cannot have any more ability haste than what we have right now. Okay. Let's go blood rank rank 3. We're going to start getting closer to our evolves. Do not let that mine get to me. Blast him. Destroy bosses. Okay, I can do that. Let's go get him. Destroy that mine before it gets to me. Mine rounds are very, very dangerous. Destroy mines. Destroy mines. Don't let that mine get to me. Don't let the mine get to me. Thank you, train. Thank you. Thank you. Mines and bats. Mines and bats. Let's, let's blast a hole here. I need three more bosses. Uh, it's, it's really, really important that I get this. Okay. Uh, it's really, really important that I don't die here. We blast a hole. We very carefully take the hole out. We're low on HP. Take the movement speed here. Don't die, don't die. Blast the hole, blast the hole. I only have 14 seconds to destroy two bosses. Maybe I can make it if I get my passive going. Seven seconds. One more boss, one more boss. We're gonna get there. And we take and we get vacuum here, right? I think we take vacuum for sure. We've gotten out of two Coliseums now. Just saying. This is definitely the best we've ever done. Come on, trains. Come on, Tibbers. Do the things. No bosses are spawned. I'm happy to just use my ultimate here then. Remember, I got vacuum now, so the XP drops will come to me. I don't have to go to them. Okay, we got some bosses now. Let's do it. Who do we got? Dogma. All he does is spit. All he does is spit. Just a spitter. Oh, I mistimed my, my ability pretty bad right there. That's fine. We kill the cog. I should probably consider saving these ones specifically. Yeah. I'll probably save this one. I won't, I won't pick this one up until I get a level 5 weapon. No, just don't pick it up until I get a level 5 weapon. That is also upgradable. Okay. Take the, let's take a final set of transit. We should get another level here. A little bit ludicrous we don't get a level there. That's fine. Okay. I know the Belveth trial is sitting over there, but this is the first I've gotten. I don't want to risk it all on a, a silly Belveth trial. I'm going to turn on auto-aim. Okay, one more level, please. I would like to get... An evolve on my primary weapon. Yes, yeah, purple balls. I think purple balls give you more XP than blue. Okay. There's a couple good purples right there. These enemies don't. It's, it's a little bit tough to proc my passive against these lads because they're just so slow and there's so many. There's so less of them. So it's kind of a. It's kind of a lot harder for Jinx to destroy these to get to get rid of them. Okay, we got we have a boss coming in a vacuum thank you no we didn't get it a little bit of health regen here 
At least now there's more enemies to spot to kill. You know, even if it is a boss. Stay on the boss with our main gun here. Okay, go in a circle around him. Okay, do I have my ult? I do. Man, even ult, even my ult with my... Yeah, I was gonna say. Okay. Even my ult with my passive up didn't kill, but that's fine. And we are just trying to collect some XP, and then once I get level 4 weapons, or level 5 weapons, then I'm going to go and pick up those, those, those cards over there. We're sacrificing a little bit of power now, or hopefully a lot of power once we get the weapons. Okay. Vacuum. S dang, still no level 5 weapons. I think we do take the cards then. I mean, if I can even get to them at this point. I, I, I'm gonna hold out. I'm gonna hold out for a little bit longer. I've got two level four weapons now. If I can just, if I can just hold off, I can get two evolved. Come on now. Keep up the damage, Shanks. I beg of you. Oh yeah, that's that's big damage. That's big damage. Sorry, Yumi Quest. I don't think I can ha I can do it right now. Dang, no weapon upgrade. It's okay. We're, we're getting more and more weapons closer and closer. Let's keep going in a circle here. I think circle strats might be good. Okay. We'll take a lot of damage here. Thank God for movement speed. The same. Yes. Give me a level, please. Level 5 Blade Array? Okay. I think I'd go for one of these cards then. Okay, got the Evolve on Blade Array. And we didn't we didn't accidentally proc the other one? Good. Use my alts. Oh, they got chunked. Okay, save these cards. Save these cards. No, 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 no. Oh, it's this guy right on top of me. Got it, got it, got it. Understood, 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 understood. Give me a power, please. Oh, I'm not sure what this does. Oh, enemies drop gold on kill. Got it. Whoa, whoa, oh my gosh. And we go down. Wow. Tried our absolute best, but it didn't end up working out for us. I think we can go around. Okay, here we are, the final round. Let's see if what we can get done here. I think that round definitely had, I would say definitely had potential. I think that, that was more of a misplay on my part. I was getting pretty greedy with those with those cards i should have maybe just picked one up but i was really open to i think there might be guaranteed evolves if you have an evolve ready so i was really close to a three item evolve there which would have probably pushed me over the edge but either way that's this for that's the first we've gotten and we've we're learning how to play the game a little bit better which i like i feeling that i like feeling that progression even if it's not you know wins r right away you know I mean, I think here we just go. I think we go damage. I think I don't think the bit it was the build's fault. I think move speed damage both good strong choices, especially because Final City Transit, the train. I put so much respect on it. Um, it's, it scales with damage, so or it's 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 in a rest. It's recipe, I guess you could say, is damage for the evolve. That's what's all about those evolved weapons. Um, I think health regen is a good stat too. We'll take health regen. I would like to get my weapon secured a little bit faster than this, can be honest with you. Let's play a little bit aggressive here. Go for as many kills as possible. Okay, get the kills and then pop my pop my E. It's on a shorter cooldown now. Hey, Final City Transit, happy to see you, homie. Alright, now we just need crit chance. No Coliseum can hold me. I'm close to the Yumi to Yumi zone, so I can farm up a little bit here. Give me those blue orbs. Okay, Yumi quest spawned. I'm right here to snatch it up. Boom! Those nukes are nice, actually. I race to the finish line. Got it. Um, my passive is pretty far from popping. 
Let's just do this the old-fashioned way. Ooh, is it an Annihilator angle or is it an EXP angle? Let's go Annihilator. Yeah, I've got damage and I'm going to be going Ability Haste, so... I think we have a pretty good... A pretty good setup for it. At least for now. Oh, right, we got a ourselves a boss. Let's do it. Mr. Boss, I want you to meet my Yumi upgrade. Lose 30 ability haste, but gain extra damage. Gain 1% movement speed for every 2 haste. I think that one's pretty good. Even though it doesn't give me something right now. It's going to give me something in the future. So I am going to take ability haste as soon as I see it now. Especially now. Again, Jinx is a great boss shredder. Now, if I can get movement speed scaling as well, my damage, like last round, that's what I'm looking for. Take this card early. I, I, again, you want to get as many chances at early weapons as you can, I think, before you get Coliseumed in. And even dogs. This is a little ridiculous. Let's take crit chance. And our last slot's got to be ability haste, I think. Got a big coin over here. I'm going to try to grab it. Hey, don't hit me. All right, what's up, dogs? Doggy dog world out there, huh? Train, how could you miss all these dogs? There's a million of them. Not bad, the Annihilator comes in. Thank you very much. And it gives me a chance to clean up all these, all these drops. All right, doggy dogs. 331, which means Coliseum is going to be dropping soon. I want to save my cooldowns. And I'm hoping Annihilator has thought about how it's going to be helping me. This fight. Because it, it, it should be helping me. Okay, 345. It looks like it's 345 every time. Annihilator, thank you very much. Or Train, help me out. Help me out, help me out, help me out. Blast him. Hoping that it gets destroyed and we're out. Oh, we're so back. Give me that heal juice. Give me that heal juice. We got it, and we're out. Oh my gosh, I'm the best player to ever live. I can't take EXP here. I have to reroll and pray. Man, we got really close to having to take a stat we didn't want there. We want ability hastes ASAP. ASAP. No heal juice from that. Uh-oh. Oh, Annihilator. Yes. Thank you. Give me the, the heal juice. I don't like being in this back corner. I'd much rather fight somewhere else. Especially with enemies barreling into my location, and we go down. Wow. Hey, we made it out of the Coliseum, though. That, that's an improvement from where we were from the beginning of the video. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.